but he is a stone's throw away. That's a good distance. And he's battling. Sweat turns to blood. The capillaries burst in his foreheads from the straining and the praying and the crying and the weeping. And he's praying. And finally, obviously, he's under temptation. The Bible says he was tempted in every way we are, yet without sin. Yeah, without he's, sin. he's the creator of the universe. <laughs> Bore Ha'olam, the creator of the universe. And he knows he does not have to do this if he doesn't want to. Mm -hmm. Who, who's going to, how's it, who's it going to get in trouble with? It's his. He knows he doesn't have to. It's his love for what he's done. It's his love for, he saw us. Yes, thank you, Jesus. And so he battled and he battled and he said, he knew what this was. He knew what that beating was going to be. He knew what a crucifixion was. That's right. He takes a deep breath, blood trickling down his face. And he says, nevertheless, I'm going to reverse this curse. Not my will, but the throne of heavens, O Lord. And then he goes to the cross and pays for it. Amen. And he rises from the grave to prove to us who he is. Yeah. Now we have a choice. Yeah. The bottom line is ground zero. The curse has been reversed. But in the meantime, it is Satan's stolen world. Revelation 12. That's right. 12. Woe unto you, earth, in these days, yes. mm -hmm. because Satan has been thrown down. Mm. But he knows his time is short. He is filled with rage. Mm. Can you see his rage? Yeah, yeah. we can see all around yeah. us. And this yeah. is this is what's happening. Mm. So we don't give up. That's right. We don't give yeah. up. Greater is he. In fact, when Paul, Paul writes and he writes in First uh, Thessalonians four, um, excuse me, First Thessalonians five, he writes about the thief in the night. He says, but this day, this day of coming of the Lord won't overtake you like a thief in the night. Amen. Lost Amen. people will be. He says, but you're children of the light. Amen. He says, you will not suffer the wrath of God. Amen. You will not. And then he says, therefore, encourage each other with these yeah, words. Yeah. Peter says, uh, how about pray to speed its coming? Amen. Oh, Lord, let it come. And that shouldn't be a surprise to us because yeah. how did Jesus teach us how to pray? Our Father who art in heaven, holy is your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, Thy will be done one day soon on yeah. earth as it is now in heaven. He yeah. taught us to pray. Yeah. We just say it like a little magic thing in our churches. Yeah. You know, our Father, our neighbor, everybody yeah. say it. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Come on, you know the rest of it. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah. That's not what it is. Wow. He says, here's your attitude. Pray like this. Yeah. I know this is Satan's world. I know I'm an ambassador for you. I know you've put me here on purpose. I know you've already provided for my salvation. Thank you, Jesus. I couldn't have done it. So please, Lord, hurry up. Yeah. We are ready for yes. King Jesus. Yes. We are ready for King Jesus. Amen. Amen.